Hello, viewers! This is Rise, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Between this episode and the last, I stocked up on more brain food lunches. Um, you need, you, well, I recommend that you get three brain food lunches with salt packets. You can store away the, uh, for sale sign. You really don't need it anymore. There's really no shops left for the rest of the game, so you're never going to need any extra money to sell something, so you just drop it at this point in the game. I also, yeah, Ness had a horn of life from earlier. I just moved that over to make room for another brain food lunch and soul packet. You want him to have at least three. Actually, that's probably all you're going to have room for because you can't get rid of these three items, unfortunately. You can't even give them to other people. I, I don't know why, but you can. Um, I also stored away the uh, brain pendant. As you can see, it's not in Jeff's inventory. You don't forget about it, though. We're, we are going to get that out later. Um... Yeah, just stock up on multi-bottle rockets, uh, give Paula her brain food lunches, salt packets. Um, poop, same thing. It's got Horn of Life, then I moved over from Nest there. And of course, any cup of life noodles and horns of life you have, just for backup purposes. Anyway, today we're going to head to the uh, next dungeon there. Oh, and uh, as you can see, Nest doesn't have any multi-bottle rockets for Jeff there. But I still gave the two to Pooh. Uh, Actually, I have one on poo. That's right, I was too lazy to buy another one for Jeff, so I just gave gave uh, one over to Pooh. I, for some reason, didn't buy enough. Um, so then to save time, to save time on my, my own time here, I just moved one over to, Jeff, to Jeff's inventory. Really not critical. Um, anyway, to get to the fire spring, you want to just Follow the way I'm going here. Uh, take care of this guy. Be right back. You guys, you really can't survive a multi-bottle rocket, can you? <laughs> oh, I love doing it to those guys. They annoy me. I I thoroughly recommend just multi-bottle rocketing them and be done with it. They're just powerful and way too much HP. Um, that actually does not restore your HP. That guys are right there. I think it doesn't. Um, yeah, let's find out. Or maybe it does. Okay, well. Yeah, the one above the village is the one I'm thinking about. That one um, restores status effects. The other two restore your HP and PP. I think. Let me check that here. Yep. What they do. Um, okay, I'm gonna take a little pause break in case I screw up or something, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back now and uh, well, let's keep moving here. I ignore that door and ignore that ladder and fight this guy. Oh, you can't walk on the lava, so don't worry about being hurt by it. Okay, this is the psychic psycho. <clears throat> he is vulnerable to brain shock. Um, he has no other weaknesses, so. I would just normal attack him. Freeze isn't even all that great. Um, I mean, Freeze does pretty good against him, but he's not weak to it. Uh, so just Brain Shock him. One of the few enemies in the game with only weakness is Brain Shock. Uh, maybe even the only one. I can't quite remember. No, no, there's one more. How could I forget? Um, yeah, he has Fire Alpha and Fire Beta. You can put up a, a shield sigma if you'd like, but I don't know if it's really necessary because, well, you might as well, I guess. I mean, you have the, all that, that flame protection there, so might not be necessary, but yeah, why not? Might as well put it up. If you really wanted to, you could also do Omega, but too expensive for a normal fight. Okay, let's fast forward through that there. You guys get the idea. I have to explain something about his cousin later on that we're going to fight here. Uh, now, how do we get past that lava, you ask? Well, it's simple. You just go in the store, a conveniently placed door that just happens to lead around the lava. Yeah, because that certainly happens. Okay, here's the guy, the major psychic psychic. He has a 1 in 128 chance of carrying the star pendant, the best body armor in the game. It increases your defense, 
like a lot. But it also protects you from fire, freeze, flash, and paralysis. But it, it takes way too long to get. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't even worry about it. He's Anyway, this guy's got a fire beta, fire gamma, so I would definitely put up a shield sigma here. Heavy bazooka, of course. Um, and, oh yeah, brain shock the uh, psychic psychic in this situation. Um, yeah, he's also got PSI shield omega, so if you cast that, don't use psychic powers on him. And he's got paralysis alpha. But fortunately, we're completely protected to it. Um, now one thing I forgot to point out is Jeff's ultimate weapon. The, uh, uncontrollable spheres, the exploding, like, eyeball enemies from the Lumine Hall 7 Sanctuary Cave, they have a 1 in 128 chance of dropping the broken antenna, which, with 65 IQ, repairs into Jeff's ultimate weapon. I, I forget the name of it. I, I never bothered to get it. It's really not all that powerful anyway. Um, at least not compared to the broken bazooka that you already have. Okay. Will these guys die already? Unfortunately, the Major Psychic Psycho is not weak to anything, so. Yeah, I mean, even Freeze doesn't do much. Right, fast forward here. Sorry, these enemies are starting to take a little bit longer now, so I'm going to be fast forwarding a little bit through them. Anyway, let's uh, keep moving. Yeah, if you were planning on getting that broken antenna, then I would... Um, Recommend that you use at least a couple, uh, what is it there? IQ capsules on Jeff, but otherwise, don't even bother. Um, that is a, what is it, an arms? Yeah. Uh, you want to give that to, well, who else do we always give this stuff to? Oh, am I going to have to drop something? Yep, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back now. Um, Chera's band increases her defense. It, it went up from 191 to 201, so you might as well give it to Paula. Um, it also it also raises your luck and it protects you against hypnosis. Anyway, we need to backtrack a bit, so I'll just do that on my own time. And I'll meet you on the other side of that lava pit. See you there. See, yeah, see you there. Okay, uh, never mind. Uh, I found a new enemy. This is the soul-consuming flame. Where is he? Here? He's Okay, this guy is vulnerable to freeze, so he's also very difficult. Uh, I would recommend that you cast Freeze Gamma and or Freeze Omega. Yeah, just stick with Freeze Omega because this guy is tough. Um, and Freeze Gamma. That might one hit him, I don't know. He's pretty HP heavy. Um, anyway, this guy... He can do a flaming fireball for 200 to 400 to everybody, 150 to 250 to everybody, 200 and uh, uh, with his breathe fire he does 150 to 250. I'm getting ahead of myself there. And with shoot out a spray of fire it's also 200 and 400 to everybody. Fortunately you can protect against his, his attacks, but still, that's a lot of damage. Anyway, uh, I'll meet you on the other side of the pit. Okay, uh, we're right by the beginning now, so let's go in here now. I could have gone in here earlier, but eh, whatever. Okay, uh, let's keep moving. A quick note, I think that Major Psychic Psycho actually starts with that shield, so uh, stay away from psychic powers. I know he can cast it, I didn't remember he actually started with it, but I just did Star Storm and like, owned myself, so yeah, don't do that. Where, where did that go? No, honestly, where did that go? No, oh, there it is. I uh, just use that on Ness. Okay. Now we want to go up that ladder. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, Ness just learned PSI Life Up Omega, which heals 400 HP to everybody for 24 second bucks. It has replaced the large pizza, so that's why we don't need that anymore, which is why I didn't bother to order one, because I knew we were close to getting it. Okay, uh, let's keep moving. Uh, Get one more chest before we call it a night. Yeah, that major psychic psycho definitely starts with that shield. Anyway, let's keep moving here. Okay. Okay, let's open this chest. Uh, this is the bag of Dragonite. Um, you want to hold on to that. So just uh, keep that in your inventory for now. Anyway, that's about all the time I really have for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. 
and uh, see you next time when we finish this, hopefully finish this last sanctuary cave. So, have a great day, guys.